Hey guys, how's it going? Dex here for another lesson. This time we're going to be looking at fills. And fills are where you start to spice up your grooves a little bit with something else. So just a recap of the last lesson, which was on your first groove and how to read it. So we'll kind of go into the reading side of things. Uh, the groove that we were playing was simply a bass drum and hi-hat together. And you'll see in the sheet music that was the X on the top line and then the dot on the very bottom line. That is the hi-hat and the bass drum together. So that's the hi-hat over here. And then the bass drum played with your foot. That, that drum down there on the bottom. So you play that together. That was beat one. And then we had beat two, which was hi-hat and snare drum together, which is both the hands. And that's the top X is the hi-hat. And then the dot just above the middle line, that's the snare drum. So that was the groove from the last lesson. So that's a quick recap. So again, bass drum and hi-hat. Then the hi-hat and the snare drum together. And it was just one, two, one, two. And in this groove, we're just going to play four beats. So it's going to be that twice. So we're going to play beat one, beat two, then beat one again, and then beat two again. And that'll actually then give us one, two, three, four. So we've got four beats in a bar of music. And a bar is just how we measure the music. So it's one, two, three, four. And that's your first bit. And then we're going to get onto fills. Now, fills are where you start using the snare, you start using the toms to create a bit more of an interesting sound. Because if you just did that groove the entire way through a song, it can start to get a little bit boring. So it's whilst that's a pretty cool groove in itself, just something else to kind of spice it up, make it a bit more interesting. So that's what the fills do. So every so often, a drummer will move to the toms and the snare and play something different. And the fill we're going to do in this lesson is just going to be four beats played on our first tom. So let me show you the toms. So on this on this kit, I'm using two toms. So I've got this tom just here, which is quite high in pitch, and then this tom here, which is quite low in pitch. And as you go across your drum kit, you always go from the highest toms down to the lowest toms. You might have three at home, you might have four at home. The toms just add a bit more kind of texture to your drumming and make it a bit more melodic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use however many you've got. Just use your very first tom, so the one that's to the left of the kit, you're going to use that one just there. And I just want you to hit it with your right stick four times. And that's going to be our fill. And what we have is we have our groove for four beats, and then we have our fill for four beats. So they match up quite nicely. And you want to play them at the same time. So here's the, the whole exercise. Bass drum and hi-hat. Snare drum and hi-hat. Bass drum and hi-hat. Snare drum and hi-hat. And then you've got four hits on the tom. One, two, three... Four, and that's your fill just there. So you can see groove, fill, and this is the thing in drumming. I tend to, in my mind, I split them up into those two kind of categories. You've got your grooves, you've got your fills, and what you'll do is you'll develop your grooves and you'll develop your fills, but they'll still follow this kind of pattern of grooves and fills. So let's play that a little bit faster now. And then remember, we don't stop there. You will then continue it. Because if you just finish there, that would be a very short song. So by repeating it, you make a much longer piece of music. So we're just going to repeat it as many times that you can, as you can without going wrong. So let's give it another go. Two, three, four. And there you go. So you can start to see you're creating a much longer phrase now, and you can use that in music. You might not do a fill every single time. This is where you can start playing that groove for much longer and just do the fill every so often. That's quite an interesting thing. But just for now, try and get used to going from a groove into a fill. And when you feel comfortable with that, feel free to play it on different instruments. You might play it on your floor tom. And so on. Or... This is where you'll start moving into later. You can move that around. So we're just using four beats with the right hand. You might play one, two, three, four, or in another direction. You can be really quite creative with it, as long as it's four beats. And then, in, like I say, in a future lesson, we'll then go into eight beats, which is where we use two hands. And then late, much later, we can start putting the feet in. And so on. So you can see, you can start to get quite creative with this. There's lots of cool things you can do. And as you gradually speed it up, the excitement really starts to come in there. So, which is pretty cool. And that I'll show you one more thing in this lesson. At the end of the song, I'm sure you've seen drummers do this before. They hit this symbol just here, which is called the crash symbol. And that symbol 
it's usually the highest one on your kit. I've got mine fairly low, but you might have them really quite high. You might have two, you might have three, depends how big your drum kit is. For now, I'm just using one over here. And what you can do is right at the end of any piece of music, you can just hit the crash symbol with your bass drum. So if you just try playing right hand on the crash, right foot on the bass drum, at the exact same time, you can see that gives it a bit more boom. You can hear if I play without the bass drum, it doesn't sound that good. But with the bass drum, this gives it a little bit more boom, which on the drums is always good. So it's just getting that little bit boom at the end. So for now, here's what I want you to do. Groove, fill, groove, fill, and then we're going to hit the crash and the bass drum at the same time to finish off the music. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Groove, fill, groove, fill. Here's the crash with the bass drum, and that gives you the whole piece of music. Now I'm going to play it a little bit faster. And you can see just putting that crash at the end just finishes it off quite nicely. Work on that exercise and you're well on your way to becoming the drummer that you want to be. Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys have some fun with that. I've been Dexter. I will see you guys for another lesson sometime soon.